hi in today's video going to learn how you can create a paypal account in 2022 that can both send receive and also be able to withdraw so in 2021 i've created a lot of paypal videos on how to create a paypal account yes some of those methods are still working for some people they're having difficulties so in in this year's video i've come up with a new updated version and simpler way of which you can use to create a paypal account that can both send not only send also receive and not only receiving also being able to withdraw the money into your bank account okay so why should you watch this video well if you reside from a country like zambia or any country where paypal has limitations for example in some countries like zambia you are only able to send payments but you are not able to receive in some countries you are able to send and receive but you are not able to withdraw so in today's video i'm going to solve these issues you will now be able to send receive and withdraw without any limitations so why should you be able to withdraw well there are some companies out there that pay via paypal and doesn't really make sense whereby you would like to get paid or to make money online but you're not able to withdraw well, if you're such a person who've, who've been trying to make money online but because of getting paid has really prevented you from doing that, well, those things are going to end now. So simply watch this video till the end. It's going to be worth it. You're going to learn everything step by step on how you can create a PayPal account. So as for me, I already have a PayPal account that can both send and receive money. So in this case, I'm going to create for someone, okay, I'm going to create for a friend so that I can, in the process, so that I can show you how it is done. Okay, so before I show you first, let me first make you understand. So first of all, what I'm going to do is simply search for PayPal countries and limits, okay. So simply click on the first link you're going to see, which is this one over here. So why should you click on this link? So this link has got all the countries and its available services. So the first list is the countries or regions with ability to send and receive payments. So if you reside in these countries, you are able to send and receive money via PayPal. Okay, and this is the list. I will not read it out. I will include the link in the description. So the second list is the country's origins with the ability to send and receive payments and have automatic transfer. So if you reside in one of these countries, you have the ability to send and receive payments. In addition, PayPal will auto automatically transfer your PayPal balance to a US bank account or credit card on a regular basis. So if you reside in these countries, you'll be able to receive money to your card or bank account with one which is in the US, okay? So this is the second list and you must be in the US, okay? And these are the countries and they are few. And the third list is the countries with the ability to send payments. So this list is for those who are only able to send. They cannot receive and they cannot withdraw. This is where the country Zambia falls in. As for me, I am from Zambia. So if I scroll down, I am going to see it, Zambia, okay? So I am not able to receive or withdraw, but I'm able to send. So this is where my country falls in. So why is Zambia falling on this list? Well, these are some money regulations a country may have. There are a lot of reasons why uh people has these limitations in certain countries so you can learn more or you can contact them to find out okay so now how do you create an account which has no limitations okay so first of all creating an account from a country you don't belong to it is against paypal and it is not recommended so now what's the best way of creating an account with no limits well, the best way to do that is simply creating a business account, okay? So why is creating a business account different? Well, when it comes to a business account, you are allowed 
getting a business account in a country for example usa is not going to work out like you will not be able to withdraw money and these are the mistakes people have been making of making a business account in usa and trying to withdraw it never works out but in today's video you'll be able to receive money and withdraw after watching this video so continue watching this video to the end okay so today's video i'm going to choose a country we are going to create a business account from and i think i'm going to choose singapore for today okay so where does singapore fall singapore falls under the list of countries or regions with the ability to send and receive with no automatic payments automatic payments uh, for usa people okay so getting in usa is very very complex and it's not easy to withdraw so i'm going to choose singapore so what i'm going to do now again is simply click here and i'm going to write paypal singapore okay so i'm going to click on the first link which is the paypal singapore so what you're going to do is that you are not going to create a personal singapore account because you need to have a number and you need to be physically there and the citizen of singapore in this case you're going to create a business account so to make sure that you're doing the right thing simply go in the address bar and make sure that after paypal.com there is sg slash business okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on sign up okay and you are going to choose a business account you'll be able to send and receive payments under a business name okay and no setup fee no monthly or hidden fees that's the good part so simply click on next so simply choose via so for now simply choose i'm not sure none of the above then simply enter in less than seven thousand singapore dollars a month or oh, i'm not sure then click on next then you'll be requested to enter in your email address so writing in an email address the email address you should enter in should not be connected to any paypal account it should be a new one and you will need to choose a password for your new account then click on continue then you will need to enter in about your business so this is a really good business we are creating okay this is nothing illegal this is allowed that's what you have to know first of all so now let's enter in our first legal names as i have mentioned in the first place i'm creating an account for a friend as for me i already have an account so you might see that some names might not be of mine then now when it comes to phone number since we are creating a business account it's possible to change the country code to your country code so that's a good part about it so you don't need to have a singapore phone number because you're creating a business account you are able to use your real number from your country so i'm going to choose this one and I'm going to fill it in the number so let me just do that okay so i have entered in the phone number so the last part is entering the business address okay so first of all let me choose the add the let me first choose the currency so i'm going to choose us dollar as the primary currency so now to enter in the street name or house number postcode okay we're going to use a certain tool for which is going to allow us to get a singapore address so all you have to do is simply open a new tab and simply search for singapore a fake address generator okay if you've got a relative in singapore that can even be better because you need you will not have to have a fake address you can simply use your relatives address in singapore so you can choose any of these address generators over here so let me try with the first one over here 
So what are we asked to do? We are we have to enter the street name and house number. So let me choose this one over here. And the postal code, let me choose this one here. Address line two. Okay, then I am simply going to click on agree and create account. Okay, now we are asked to describe our business type. So I'm going to choose individual or sole proprietorship. Then product or service, I'm just choose, I think there is something like freelancer and uh, nothing. Let's say uh, content creator. Uh, I'm just going to choose that. Then for when it comes to website, you can enter in your Instagram link, your Facebook page, or you can leave it blank. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to click on continue. Then now the date of birth. You have to enter in the correct date of birth according to your ID. So let me just fill in this information and we'll get back to you. Then when it comes to nationality, you have to enter in your real nationality or your legal nationality. You are able to change this, simply click on the drop down and choose your country. As for me, it's Zambia. Then the identity document, simply choose national ID and enter in the ID number of your ID card. Okay, I've entered in the national ID number. The last part is the home address. So your home address, simply click on same as business address. Tick this box, then click on submit. Okay, we are done. So now we are asked, first of all, what do you sell? So I am going to... I'm going to choose services. Yeah. And I'm going to click on next. Then you're going to be asked. Um, if you've got a website, you can choose this one. Okay, if you'd like to send uh, invoices, you can choose this one. Or this one doesn't matter. Or you can just create a link to request payment. So I'm going to choose this one for now and click on next. Then you can also create a paypal.me link. So let me just click on start the setup. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is to confirm our email address. So let me exit in full screen mode and go to the email to check for a new email. So here is the email from PayPal. So let me just click on it to confirm the email. Okay, so to confirm the email, I will need to enter in the password. So let me just do that. Okay, so I am done confirming the email address. And this is now how it looks like. So as you can see, we've got this card box showing the balance. This means that we're able to receive money from people. So to confirm if I am able to receive money, I am going to try to send a small amount to this account and send it back to my main account just to show you if it works. So let me just log in from my phone right now and try to send. So I've just sent a dollar to this new account I've just created. So let me try to refresh the page and see if so I've just sent a dollar to this new account I've just created. So let me just refresh the page and see if it has come or if it has not worked. Okay, so I'm requested to log in again. It looks like my session expired. So let me just do that. 
so as you can see the balance is on hold so i actually made the video on my youtube channel on how you can remove the money from on hold to your main balance so let me just show you the video so let me just go to youtube Okay, simply search for PayPal money on hold 2022 and the first video you're going to see it's by me and the other video is also by me. So you're going to learn how you can remove the money from on hold balance to main balance. So first of all, you might be having a question like why is the balance on hold instead? Why is the balance on hold instead in the main balance? Well, this is because this is the first transaction. And PayPal does this to protect people in case this is a fake account try to steal money from people. So in such a case, PayPal can easily give these people back to the to the owners before they even withdraw it. Okay, but otherwise this is proof that this account is able to send and receive money. So let me just try to remove this money from on hold to the main balance. So let me just try to confirm from my end here that i have received the product or the service i have just bought or purchased so i'm going to click on mark as shipped so the order status will be order processed because this is just more like a service it's not a physical product and if it was a product would have entered or tracking info and so on then i'm simply going to click on submit then i'm going to go to transaction details okay so as you can see the money is still on hold so it's going to take in some time so what's remaining now is simply from the account and from sending the money from to verify that i've actually received the service of bought or purchased so okay so the next video will be about how we can actually uh connect your pioneer account how you can add your bank account how you can verify your bank account and lastly how to withdraw the fees and everything else you need to know so see you in the next video